let's look at one more example of expected value. So this time it involves a life insurance policy. So a life insurance policy has a benefit of $100,000 and the policy costs $250. So if the probability that the policyholder dies during the term of the policy is this really small amount, then we want to find the expected value of the policy to the insurance company. So the idea here is the insurance company is either going to have to pay out this uh, really large benefit, okay, if the policyholder, if they die, then they have to pay out this really large benefit. And there's a, only a small chance of that happening, very small chance. It's much, much more probable that the insurance company is going to earn $250 from the policy. So when we balance these two things out, then we want to know what is the expected value of this policy to the insurance company. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a probability distribution for this random variable. And first, let's define our random variable. Um, we want the expected value of the policy to the insurance company. So let x equal um, the value of the policy to the insurance company. Okay, so x is the value. So there's really there's only two possible values for x. Okay, so either that that the insurance policy is going to be worth two hundred and fifty dollars to the insurance company. That's how much money they're going to make. And this is if the person lives, um, or the insurance company is going to have to pay out a lot of money if the policyholder dies. Um, and so the amount of money that they're going to have to um, pay out, it's not going to, well, they're going to have to pay out 100000 but the val they still make that $250, right? So the value uh, that they lose or the val value of the policy is going to be a negative $99,750. Okay, because they're still going to make that $250. So you subtract that from the $100,000, and then this is what we get. So it's either going to be worth a positive $250 or a negative $99,750. Okay, so um, they're going to have to pay out this amount if the policyholder dies, right? So the probability of paying out this amount is this really small probability, 0 0.000235. So there's a really, really small chance, right? So what about, what's the probability that they live? Um, well, they're complementary probabilities, right? The probability that they die is like 0 0.000235. So the probability that they live is going to equal 1 minus the probability that they die. So you're going to have to use the complementary probability. And when you do that, you get like point, maybe I'll use my calculator here. 1 minus 0 0.000. zero, zero uh, two, three, five. So it's like what I get is point nine 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 seven six five. Much, much more probable that they live and then they earn the money there. So point nine 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 seven six five. Okay. So now to find the expected value of the policy to the insurance company. We just take the mean of this random variable here. So uh, it'd be a positive 250 times this probability plus a negative 
uh, $99,750 times this really small probability. And, and then this is going to kind of give us that balance. This will give us the expected value of the policy to the insurance company when you take into account how much they make, the large amount they lose, and those two probabilities balancing the two. Okay, so um, 250 times 0.999765 um, plus a negative 99,750 times the really small probability 0 0.000235 and let's see what happens and what I get here is looks like it's uh, two hundred and twenty six dollars and fifty cents is that right let me look plus negative ninety nine thousand seven hundred fifty okay I guess so that's not what I was remembering but that's what I'm seeing on my calculator so then this is what the policy is going to be worth to the insurance company. This is the expected value of this particular probability distribution.